Redmi Note 13 against Redmi Note 13 Pro against Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G or $200 versus $300 versus $400. Will you get more? Paying more? Let's check it out. And what we got with Redmi Note 13. We have Snapdragon 685 6 nanometer with 4 big custom A73 cores and 4 small A53 cores coupled with 8GB RAM and 256GB storage. Then Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G. It comes with MediaTek Helio G99 Ultra 6 nanometer which has 2 plus 6 architecture A76 plus A55. We have more RAM too 12GB and 512GB ROM. And finally Note 13 Pro 5G where we have all new Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 made by 4 nanometer fabrication and it also have 2 big cores and 6 little cores but big cores are A78 on top of that there is 12 GB RAM and 512 GB storage it will be an interesting battle of ARM Cortex A73, A76 and A78 with 4 plus 4 and 2 plus 6 architectures and we will start with the Geekbench we will check temperature and brightness of each phone in the beginning and at the end to catch heating or throttling issues. And after the Geekbench here what we got. Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G is the most powerful reaching more than 1000 points in a single core and almost 3000 points in a multi-core. 13 Pro 4G is the right after 5G version with 750 points and a little more than 2000 points in a single and multi-core. And at the end we have regular Note 13 with around 500 and 1500 points. Yeah, overall you pay more, you get more, at least in the Geekbench, which is a good indicator of CPU performance. What about other metrics? All phones started with 31 degrees in the beginning and Note 13 Pro 5G with the highest score reached the highest temperature of 35 degrees and the brightness dropped a little, around 100 nits. Next, we have regular Note 13 reaching 34 degrees and at the end we have Note 13 Pro 4G which is the coolest with 33 degrees and the brightest at the end of the test, but not by a big margin. Let's check GP performance with 3 d Mark. In 3 d Mark, once again Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G got the highest result of almost 800 points. 13 Pro 4G around 350 points and the Redmi Note 13 reached only 137 points. There is a huge difference in GPU performance. I would not consider regular 13 for any 3D gaming. Anyway, you pay more, you get way more GPU performance. But what about temps? Now Note 13 and Note 13 Pro 5G are reaching 34 degrees and the Redmi Note 13 Pro 4G is a little cooler with 33 degrees. Now let's move to the PC mark which is a good indicator of day-to-day -day performance of your phone. In PC Mark, Pro 5G reached almost 13,000 points and Pro 4G got around 12,000 points which is very good. At the end it is Note 13 with more than 9,000 points. But are they getting hot now? Note 13 Pro 4G reached 35 degrees while other 234 degrees. Not a big change in the brightness too. I think Antutu can make them hot. Good to mention Note 13 Pro 5G was able to run full 3D benchmark while well, other two models were capable only running light version of it. Okay, in Antutu Note 13 Pro 5G got the highest result of 600,000 points, which is not that great, to be honest. Then we have Pro 4G reaching 450,000 points, and regular Note 13 reaching 390,000 points. Hmm, you paying more, you getting little more. And what about temperature? Finally, we reached 39 degrees with Pro 5G, now it's getting hot. Next, 13 Pro 4G reached 38 degrees, and regular 13 reached 37 degrees. Once again, not a big change in brightness. What about storage performance? In storage benchmark, Note 13 Pro 5G showed a very good result in reading speed. Now, before the throttling test, we let our phones to cool down to initial 31 degrees after we could start. Here we have 100 threads for 20 minutes. It's not a game. It's a red And at the end, we have as expected, Redmi Note 13 Pro 5G got the highest max, average and minimum results. But it throttled a lot, losing up to 37% of its performance in just 20 minutes, which is huge. At the same time, our MediaTek Helio G99 phone ended up losing only 12% of its performance. But weirdly, regular Redmi Note 13 4G got higher max, average and even minimum results than Redmi Note 13 Pro. Hmm. 
I think it might be due to architecture differences, where you have 4 big cores in Note 13 and only 2 big cores in Redmi Note 13 Pro. What about heat? The regular Note 13 didn't throttle much, but it got very hot, 42 degrees and lowered brightness to 290 nits, which is very dim. At the same time, he still performed better than Note 13 Pro 4G. And after that, we have Note 13 Pro 5G, which reached 39 degrees, which is still manageable and kept good brightness. And at the end, our MediaTek phone ended up being the coolest, 38 degrees and keeping around good 600 nits of brightness. In the end, what do you think? Are you getting more paying more? What will be your choice? Let me know in the comments. Please follow my channel and help me reach thousands of followers. Thank you for your support.